What's the Tabata? Where you're doing a 20 second interval and you're yeah. going more all out because it's shorter time. And then you're recovering for 10 seconds. So it's a 20 second on, 10 second off. You do that eight times. And uh, if you repeat that twice, so it's essentially a 10 minute workout. That's also something that can improve cardiorespiratory fitness. But I would say, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you why there's the minimum, right? So the one minute on, one minute off. But I would say the Norwegian four by four is the gold standard. And that's because it's not only improving cardiorespiratory fitness. This is probably one of the most exciting pieces of evidence I've seen with respect to, you know, exercise and aging. And that is that being part of an exercise protocol was shown to reverse the structural changes that occur with age in the heart by 20 years. So what do I mean by that? I mean, people that were 50 years old that were sedentary, so they weren't really going to the gym, they weren't engaging in any sort of physical activity, but they weren't you know, they didn't have diseases. They didn't have type 2 diabetes. They didn't have cardiovascular disease. I would argue sedentary, being sedentary is a disease, but putting that aside, they didn't have any diseases, right? And they're 50, so they're midlife. And um, this was, again, this was done by Ben Levine out of UT uh, Southwest in Dallas. He took these, you know, 50-year-olds and put them on a pretty intense exercise routine for two years or a stretching routine. This was like the, the control. And this type of exercise routine was progressive. So they started out lighter and sort of worked their way up, right? Like you don't want to just start with a Norwegian four by four, mm -hmm. people that never, never exercise. I mean, that's going to be tough. So it was a progressive sort of building up to that. But towards the ends of about the first six months, these people were exercising about five to six hours a week. And that included one to two sessions of the Norwegian four by four. And it also included a lot of you know, they're, they're doing moderate to vigorous intensity cycling or running and some, some strength training as well. And they did this for two years. Their hearts were looked at. And so as we age, our hearts shrink and they get stiffer. And that plays a role in causing cardiovascular disease. I mean, that's the number one killer in the United States. It also affects cardiorespiratory fitness, right? Why does the, the heart, you know, stiffen with time? Well, it has a lot to do with actually being exposed to a lot of glucose. When you're eating a lot of refined sugar and refined carbohydrates, you're having a lot of glucose around in your system. This causes a chemical reaction called glycation. So you get these advanced glycation end products that sort of react with your collagen that's lining your heart and your myocardium, and it causes it to stiffen. And so now the heart can't really respond to stress well. It's stiff. And that plays a role in like heart attacks, for example. So Exercise is one of the best things you can do to move glucose out of your vascular system and get it to your muscles. And so that's, that's one of the things that it does and helps with not causing that stiffening of the heart. And so essentially these 50-year-olds had their, their heart, the structure, so it was bigger and less stiff after two years of this you know, exercise protocol. It essentially made their hearts look like 30-year-olds. And I mentioned they were 50-year-olds. I mean, that's amazing. That's incredible. 